So hello everybody and welcome here again at Hoxent Chapel, Hoxent Chapel, you know, the 15th, 16th century chapel. I've made some videos here now and the sun is still shining, which is very nice to sit here, it's very calm. And as you will remember, the kids are home, it's holidays, so the house is not a very safe place to make videos, so why not sitting here and sharing this book with you. It's a new Bach reader. If in case you are not familiar with this book and still and you are interested in the life of Bach, this is a must-have. It is somewhat comparable with the Bach documenten. I will make a bit video on the Bach documenten soon because that's something you should know about if you are not already. Um, but actually this book is a collection of similar to the Bach documenten in English, a collection of all documents, autographs, manuscripts, written things, written letters connected to the life of Jan Sebastian Bach, not only by the master, but also by contemporaries, by uh, later generation people, and so on. Even the uh, translation, the English translation of the biography of Bach by Forkel is in this book. We will, I will share with you some of the um, content the index so that you understand really what the book is about important to know is that this book already was published in the first edition in 1945 or 46 that i, sh I should look up um, but 1945 as one of the first examples of um, presenting only primary and secondary source material not to only the biographers, to the musicologists, but to the complete world of musicians, so that this information was available to all. So that you, if you are, if you were interested in studying Bach, as we are doing now, that you should not depend only on the opinion of a musicologist who was, who had prepared a work of Bach or a biographer, but you could read yourself the original text. It's kind of new standard was taken over a little bit by the um, uh, Bach documenten uh, which is an addition to the Neue Bach Ausgabe what you find in here very short is the all the autographs things related to Bach himself written by Bach contemporaries contemporary writings on Bach and later writings on Bach and then there is a fourth part with I iconographic studies so this book obviously had some reprints in the 60s and is now available since more than 10 years i mean it's 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 actually kind of uh, standard work now revised and expanded by christoph wolf you will know wolf by name because he is amongst other things that he has written um, the famous author of the bach biography so it's great to have this work in his edition as well and just going through the book very briefly with you so the first part um, is actually Jan Sebastian Bach a portrait um, so kind of summary of his life then part two are the Bach documenten so his life in his own writings and other documents and it's really extensive uh, so just reading that it's opening the world of Bach directly by his own hand so Bach's father Ambrosius Bach Eisenach uh, there are some it's not only in, uh, writings by Bach himself but connected really to Bach it's different uh, than in the Bach documenten Odruf, Lüneburg, Arnstadt Weimar, so it's divided into the periods of his life, Köthen, and then, so it's it's really, I don't know if you see that, but it's really extensive. So, that's all part one, it's all chapter one. So Bach examines the Zacharias Hildebrand organ, that kind of documents. And then you go to part three, early biographical documents on Bach which is, for instance, uh, gene geneal geneal genealogy, difficult in English for me to pronounce, the historical Bach family tree, two versions, then origin of the musical Bach family, uh, notes by Bach, with additions by Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach and others, it's also the necrology, um, that's here, then part four, Bach has viewed by his contemporaries, really interesting so I'll give uh, a few examples poems of praise for instance a pleasant brook by Mikrander Johan Gottlob Kittel uh, something by Hudeman 
and so on. Bach the teacher, studying with Bach and Weimar, excerpts from the files of the Augsburg Evangelical Scholar Chat on Philip David Kreuter. Vogler, uh, Bach teaching of composition by Johann Philipp Kilnberger, the education of Bach's pupil Heinrich Nikola, Nikolaus Gerber by Ernst Ludwig Gerber, Johann Philipp Kilnberger and Bach by Friedrich Ludwig Amelius Kunzen and Johann Friedrich Reichardt, 1793, a reminiscence by the last of Bach pupils Johann Christian Kittel, 1808, then report and reviews, so the first reference to Bach in print from Das Besuchten Orchestra by Matheson, Bach's Declamation by Jon Matheson, 1725, Bach the Keyboard Player by Georg Ludwig Heinrich Schwanenberg, 1727. I'm just reading because also for me many of these uh, sources were or still are new and I, I need to go all of this, this once when time allows and that will be soon. So on holding of Buchstude and Bach manuscripts by Jon Gottfried Walter, uh, on the difficulty of partitas by Graupner and Bach by Jon Matheson, really interesting, on large-scale passion music by Christian Gerber, and the list goes on and on. Then part five, Bach in the second half of the 18th century, so there's a subtitle, General Accounts and Critical Estimates, um, on the Merits of Bach by Johann Friedrich Agricola, 1750, on Bach's Eminence in the Development of Organ Playing by Johann Joachim Kwanz, 1752, on Strict and Free Fugue by Friedrich Wilhelm Marburg, Keyboard Fingering by Karl Philipp Emanuel Bach, mentioning the work The Versuch. So all passages that are published later after Bach's death that mentioning his name are really listed here, so what a work is that on the art of fugue preface preface of the 1752 edition by friedrich wilhelm marburg i don't know if that's the emmanuel bach edition but anyway on the four part chorals forward to the first edition by Karl Friedrich Manuel bach 1765 we're going to read about that in the letters of bach um, interesting to see that from another perspective as well except from five letters of Johann Philipp Kirnberger to Emanuel Breitkopf and so on and so on and on the transmission and this dissemination of manuscripts and prints. So for instance, excerpt from a letter of Padre Giovanni Battisti Martini to Johann Baptist Pauli, listening, listening manuscripts and prints. Martini is, I think, Italian composer and counterpoint uh, guy. I believe he's mentioned also in the book of... Um, um, What's the guy's name who made uh, the visit to Europe? I have made a video on that. I mean, it's next to my bed. I would say it 5,000 times in a minute. Um, forgot what his name was. Don't, it's not so important. That's strange. Vogler and Martina, all, Martini also met Mozart. That's, that's because, what's the, name, the guy's name? So there are excerpts from letters of Philip Emanuel Bach to Jan Nicolas Forkel. We are going to read that in the in the Bach reading, uh, Emanuel Bach letters reading. Then letters of Emanuel Bach to Forkel, and then there are some of them very important ones that we are going to address as well. Um, so much information that Forkel got much, at least the letters that still pre are are present. Um, he um, was very faithful to the content of those letters by Emanuel Bach. At least, that's the least you can say. And so, anecdotes, then there's a translation of Focus biography of Bach, then Bach in the Romantic Era, the story of Bach's fame, Mozart, Beethoven, Czerny, Rochlitsch, Wesley and Karl Friedrich Horn. I believe that's the guy I've played the uh, transcription um, of the Schubert, Kretkram Spinraden. Interesting. Goethe, Zelte, Mendelssohn, Bertoldi, of course, then the first and so on. Spita, Schumann, Bach Gesellschaft, Hector Berlioz and Friedrich Nietzsche. So how interesting is that? The first edition of the Mass, the mass in B minor, uh, Nageli, Mendelssohn revives the St. Matthew Passion, that's his chapter, and an American visits the Bach sites in Leipzig, which is really interesting because that was a real foreigner and he uh, has seen other accents than people who lived in Europe. So. I would recommend this book. It's not expensive. Um, I don't know what I've paid for that, but I believe it was under 30 euros. And can you imagine what information we get for that money? That's different with the Bach documentary because they are really exceptional, exceptionally uh, expensive, I shouldn't say, because 
that's a lot of work. I was able to buy them really cheap actually, but uh, knew they are really expensive. Uh, but this is really affordable. If you don't know that, check it out and go buy it. I will put a link in the description box in case you would go uh, to a direct link and would like to buy that. That's an affiliate link if you buy the book through that link. We get a commission for that. I said up front, but the book won't cost you a cent more and you support the things we are doing by doing that. So, hope that is something you can benefit from. And if this is your first time here on Authentic Sound, love to have you here. Join this Authentic Sound community. Best way to do that is by hitting the subscribe button, maybe even the bell icon. We are give, having music, focusing on music from Bach to Beethoven, where the word discover is actually in the center of everything. Discovering by studying, researching, by playing, and coming to new and maybe even hidden layers of emotion that can touch or inspire you in your own life as a musician or listener. So, thanks for checking out uh, what we are doing and we see each other very soon again. Really forgot the name of the guy. Still am not finding that name. It's here. I'm getting old. Okay, no problem. <laughs>